All right then, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Crypto Space. In today's video, we are going to cover Caspa, its recent price action, a couple of interesting tweets, as well as a couple of interesting charts for alts and a BTC. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And of course, a quick disclaimer that this video isn't a financial advice. You should do your own due diligence and research before investing into any crypto project. So now without any further ado, let's hop into Caspa itself. As we can see over here, Caspa is currently trading at 18 cents of a dollar, which is a beautiful breakout. And that breakout at the moment is sitting at 9.2%. So as we can see over here, market cap is currently sitting at 4.2 billion US dollars and 24 hour trading volume is sitting at 117 million USD. So as we can see over here, that chart looks very nice on the 24 hour time frame, But as we can see over here on a seven day, it looks very very beautiful but all right we are going to hop into the chart very very soon let's first of all look at this thing over here Okay, so obviously that shows how fast Caspa is and obviously it has the capacity to replace Visa and MasterCard. However, I do believe it's going to be similar like with BTC pretty much. BTC was pretty much um, firstly made for, for transactions, etc. And now it's obviously a store of value. So as one of the subscribers said in the comments down below, which I'm very grateful for, I'm very grateful for your comments, guys. And I do promise that I'm going to reply even to the negative ones shortly. And that person that commented was pretty much right that, you know, this pack of litchi or whatever that was in the previous update could cause this person a lot in the future. But all right. That is something nice to look at that we see all over adoption around a Caspa. And now let's have a look at this. It's official. Caspa is now a thousand X crypto. So that is wow. I cannot really say anything more, to be honest. The only thing is that sometimes I do get angry because I have discovered Caspa a while while ago when it was very, very at very low prices, but I haven't bought, you know, um, so yeah. But obviously, whoever bought at the time, I'm pretty sure these people are very, very happy. Anyways, let's have a look at this thing over here. Caspa just became the second largest crypto paying miners the most right after BTC. That is a big deal in my opinion. But on the top of that, if we are going to look over here, Caspa flipped Atom, Cosmos, right? As we can see over here, Cosmos Atom market cap is sitting at $4.1 billion and Caspa at 4.2. So Caspa is very, very quickly, quickly making his way up on the on the list of crypto projects. And I do believe it's going to be in the first 10 or perhaps even higher. But heck, we are going to see soon. All right. So let's have a look at the Caspa dashboard. The current reward is 131 Caspas and the next reward is going to be 123 and the next reduction is going to be scheduled in 14 days. So as we can see over here, that's constantly growing the difficulty for miners, right? At the moment, miners are getting a lot for Caspa, obviously right after Bitcoin, but that is obviously going to change with time. So I'm pretty sure that mining Caspa is a great business model, just like it was before with BTC. But right, let's finally have a look at the chart itself. So what we are seeing over here at the daily time frame. So that beautiful breakout, the breakout that I was actually anticipating a while ago. And as we can see over here, it doesn't look like Caspa is very, very strong at the moment. However, it doesn't mean that it's going to dump right now because we have a strong momentum in the market. But I'm going to show you these charts very soon. So let's first of all, look at the RSI over here we are currently sitting at 81 on rsi and the highest peak for rsi on a daily the risk the most recent one was around 89 so even if we are going to pretty much compare it that way on rsi that's going to be 10 percent. we could potentially see 10 percent pump on a daily right however if we are going to retrace 
let's say that the first level of retracement would be 0.236 Fibonacci retracement zone, which would put Caspa at roughly 17 cents if we are going to dip, okay? So let's have a look now on the weekly time frame to see what's brewing on a weekly time frame for Caspa, because that was daily. Obviously, there was a little bit different scenario. We can see a little bit of pullback, which is obviously healthy, but I do believe that you know, in this strong bull cycle or the beginning of a very strong bull cycle, that is going to be only temporary dump if so. So I would say that would be a beautiful, beautiful chance to scoop up more Caspa on a dip if we will see one. But OK, let's have a look now. As we can see over here, first of all, the RSI over here, the top of RSI over here on the weekly for Caspa was 91. And after that, we saw a pullback for Caspa. So as we can see over here, we are currently sitting at 75 on a weekly. So if we are going to compare it that way, we have, let's say, around 22% on the weekly to go. So let's measure 22% from here, that will be roughly at 22 cents of a dollar. Do I believe Caspa can reach that mark of 22 cents of a dollar, which is going to be an all time high at the same time? Yes, I do. Um, I believe it's going to happen, not necessarily tomorrow, but it will, obviously. So let's have a look now at a BTC, because obviously it's very important, in my opinion, to look at BTC as well because Caspa is following very closely of what BTC is doing. As we can see on the daily, BTC is pretty much being pushed down from that line of resistance at $52,000 roughly. And the scenario number one is that we might see a bit of a price sideways price action over here, just like we saw over here, right? And then we are going to see a break and then potentially, potentially we are going to break these zones. But what I do believe could happen is that we could see a little bit of pullback for BTC before halvening. That is the scenario. And after that, and after that, obviously, after the halvening, we are going to see a huge bull cycle. However, also one thing to remember is that there is a lot of money that's flowing into BTC right now in crypto. So only because we had a pullback right before halvening doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to see it now. So as I was saying with Caspa, right, of course, it applies to every crypto project that you guys believe in. But of course, we are talking about Caspa. So if we are going to see any pullback, I would say buy. But of course, not a financial advice. I'm going to buy any dip. OK, so anyways, if you are guys interested into keeping your Caspa safe on the Tangem wallet outside of exchanges, check this website out. The link is down in the description below this video. And with my code, you can receive 10% of the discount. So let me just scroll it back over here. Crypto space over here with capitals letters and you're going to get 10% off. So you got two options. You can have a two card set or three card set and I do believe that is definitely better because, you know, many things could happen on exchanges, right? If you think about it, if if they are not your keys, it's pretty much not your crypto, right? I'm not saying that we should keep everything on our wallet, right? Because obviously we possibly might, might need some crypto or USDT on exchanges for possible swaps, right? However, if we hold spot investment, I do believe that this is definitely a better option. So make sure that you check it out. But all right. Let's have a look at the chart itself. So first of all, shout out to L Crypto Prof. This week probably is the most important weekly close for BTC in three and a half years. So let's first of all have a look at 2016 cycle, right? As we can see over here, once we saw that break above over here, of course, we had a little bit of consolidation. And after that, we had a huge bull cycle. And now same thing over here. Once we broke above that 618 Fibonacci zone, we saw a huge bull cycle as well. So you can just imagine what is going to happen in the coming days, in the coming weeks. All right. So now let's have a look over here. If the previous chart wouldn't be enough, let's have a look here. So Wyckoff accumulation is completed. We have seen the typical accumulation pattern, including breakout and retest. Everything screams altcoin season right now. So that is pretty much no brainer. If we are going to look at 2016, we pretty much 
had that wike of accumulation, then we had the retest, and then we had a huge old season. 2020, the same thing. We get off the wike of accumulation zone, we have entered phase D, and we have left that phase D, and obviously phase E was old season. And 2024 as well, we've just entered that phase E, which I have covered in a previous update, and obviously we are ready to go for alts. So if that wouldn't be enough, let's have a look at this possible target over here for altcoins. So shout out to Stock Money Lizards on Twitter, and now let's have a look at this target over here. So previously, alts did 10x, and if alts would do roughly 10x from now, we could see anything between seven and ten trillion dollars in my personal opinion i do think it's a little bit too bullish however it's definitely not impossible given the fact that lots of money is flowing in from etfs and now let me know down below in the comments if you guys think it's too much right but regardless we are going to see a huge altcoin season now let's have a look over here this chart over here suggests that we could see around 4 trillion USD. That's, of course, I would say middle of 2025. So $4 trillion will be definitely a huge amount of money that is going to fly into Caspa. And now let's have a look at this chart over here. Altcoins are surging. The following charts shows that the crypto market cap, excluding BTC and ETH, 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level was the ceiling. Now it's game on. So as we can see over here, the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement zone was the ceiling and we saw the breakout just like we saw the breakout in the previous bull cycle. So we are ready to go with possible targets around $4 trillion for alts. So now if all of these wouldn't be enough, let's check this out. The golden cross for altcoins in a two weekly chart is so close. This event only seems to happen every four years and has always signaled the start of an altcoin bull run in the past. So, guys, in my opinion, this is one of the most bullish signals we could ever have on any project. All right, then, that's it for today's video. Hope that you have enjoyed that quick Caspa update, and I wish you having a great day or evening, wherever you are in the world. All right, peace and love crypto.